I'm just waiting for my odor blocking primer to dry, put it on the ceiling and everything. And as you can see, this wall is gone. And I'm in a hurry, so I didn't really do the best patch on this, um, but it is definitely doable and I will be able to finish making it all nice and smooth in the future. Also, a uh, wardrobe is going to go here, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Also, there's a bunch of mold in this wall, so some of this drywall might need to be replaced in the future, but for now, it's just going to be a storage room, and so I'm just trying to deal with smell and all that kind of stuff. So, we've got the heater in here, and we'll see how quick this dries. The only reason I was able to get that done so quickly uh, is because my wonderful daddy is out here and while I've been doing this he has been digging <laughs> so we're trying still to figure out what's going on with my septic system that is the whole septic tank over there now we're just digging out all of the trench and everything so we can try and figure out what's going on with the bite uh, I have to take the truck back tomorrow this this truck I have to take back tomorrow. So as soon as that paint's dry, we're gonna start unloading the truck into the room. And yeah, I'm gonna not be doing a good job with updates throughout this whole thing. So is what it is, sorry. Good morning, I am officially taking the moving truck back. It is empty. Yesterday was a crazy busy day. Um, I finished up um, the drywall, painted with an odor killing primer, and did some finishing touches uh, to make that bedroom a decent storage unit room, and then unloaded the truck, which was a lot of work, and then um, I kind of ran out of time, so I just like threw everything in the house. And when I did that, then I had to reorganize. So I like literally couldn't even move yesterday. I was so tired. Um, now I have to take the moving truck back and my van is at the shop getting its brakes done, um, but they keep sending the wrong brakes. And so the truck, the van is not done. I didn't know it was possible for a vehicle to hate gravel roads more than my van, but I have found it. Anyways, so I just am gonna walk to the
the shop and wait for it to be ready to pick up and then I have to go to Home Depot and get the um, tools or the parts to go and fix my main septic line and then I don't know what the plan is after that. Sleep? I think my dad and I are both getting very tired. <laughs> I just got home from dropping my dad off at the airport and running errands and getting all my Christmas presents in the mail so at least that's done but I have so much to clean up and organize and then I'm taking off to go to my parents house for Christmas so I don't think you realize how dirty everything is like let's look so basically we're starting off right here at the front all of this crap uh is left over from the fact that i have not finished organizing this room yet so all of it will go in here but i have to organize this first and same with all of that stuff i need to take down my dad's air mattress I have all of these tools that need to go into my Christmas present from my mom or my parents. Oh man, um, what else? A whole load of dishes. I mean, it's not too bad, but considering I have to hand wash dishes, it's kind of a lot of dishes. And I would love to get to the uh, dump a few times to dump all of this garbage. All of this wood over here needs dealt with. And then my laundry basket is full and I have all of the towels and sheets and everything to wash for my dad being here. So that's gonna be probably three loads of wash. <sighs> yeah. On top of all of this, I go back to work tomorrow. So I really don't have much time outside of work to do any of it. I'm a little overwhelmed and also I'm a little bit sad. I miss my dad already. I mean, I'm gonna see him in a week. So I can't be too sad, but still it's like nice when you have so much and so many projects and like literally everything is broken it's so nice to have somebody else there to help fix stuff because like i can get down you know and like out of energy out of motivation and my dad is like an energizer bunny <laughs> so you know it doesn't matter like he'll just keep plowing forward on stuff and mr misses him too yeah he's he loves this bed first of all and he's like looking around like where'd he go Where'd dad go, huh? Where's dad, mister?
one hand, the trip to the dump was a success because I made it there and back. Everything's dumped off. On the other hand, tis a little bit of a failure because my gate fell off. I lost the pins for my hinges on the washboard, ripped the gate hinges off, and I was dragging it for just a second. <laughs> Um, I've already come up with an idea on how to make those locking because these are pretty small hinges. I should be able to get longer pins for them, just replacement hinges, hinge pins for really cheap. Drill a hole through them and get one of those little locky things um, for the pin. Get these, get some of these, um, and then I should be able to make them locking. And then I just have to replace the um, things that I broke because that's all... <laughs> bent and broken this is where it was just hanging on for dear life um so on one hand it worked on the other hand it didn't <laughs> um but that was 340 pounds um and i think the trailer is rated for a thousand or 500 i can't remember 340 pounds was like well within that and a lot of it was like stucco which is really heavy so i think the trailer overall is a success i just have some final tweaks to do i am all bundled up like a hobo because even though i have plenty of space heaters to keep the house warm uh my last electricity bill just came in and it was $200. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to afford doing that again. And so we are bundled up. Teddy is shivering half of the day. And um, yeah, it's really pleasant. So I guess it's a good thing that I am going to be gone uh, to my parents' house for like two weeks because that's two weeks worth of electricity I won't be using here. Like you guys saw in the video, I did a really bad job of updating you while things were happening. So like, let's just chit chat about what's been done, what happened, uh, and we'll start from the beginning actually. So really quick synopsis, I flew to Utah where my storage unit was and I got a free flight with my miles which required me to have two layovers. Um, so that's why you saw me up and down, up and down in the plane so much. Uh, the really cool thing about that was that I was able to meet my dad in Portland and we were literally on the same flight from Portland uh, to Utah. So that was pretty cool. We got there, spent the night in a hotel, picked up the truck. There's a big hoopla of the truck. I don't know who gets a moving truck at this point without having a big hoopla. Um, but regardless, I got the truck, took it to the storage unit, filled up, filled it up from the storage unit, checked out of the storage unit and began driving. We got on the road, I don't know, maybe like 10.30 ish, um, and had a couple of errands to do. So we got on the road at a good about, amount of time, but it was uh, like a 700 mile, like nine hour ish drive. Um, so we took turns. I ended up doing, I don't know, like six of the nine hours and my dad did like three of them, which is totally fine because like he's never been in this part of the country before. So it was really cool for him to be able to like sightsee to the fullest and not have to worry about driving and everything. So that was really cool. I didn't take any video footage of that drive. Um, so that's why there's like this just like abrupt gap between me um, like basically starting and finishing the trip. And then when we got here, we literally just got to work. Like we arrived at maybe like eight o'clock at night, pulled the air mattress out of the back of the moving truck and uh, set it up, put the sheets on it, made some dinner and went to bed. And the very next morning, like bright and early with the sunrise, we were up demoing the rest of the closet out of that room. And then my dad finished pulling the tack strips, washed the walls and all that kind of stuff to prep for paint while I did the drywall patching um, that, 
you saw in the video and um, basically the next day everything was dry enough that I was able to do the primer. I was able to unload everything and that took a long time and so everything's a mess because I couldn't unload everything nicely in the first place. So the thing you guys are probably really interested in is what the heck happened to my septic line. I have no clue how the guy who put the camera down the pipe was able to see a good enough pipe that he said, oh yeah, just cut a section out where the true roots are. First of all, there were multiple places with true roots coming in that he only pointed out one. Second of all, the pipe was cracked up the top and bottom of the pipe the whole length that it was cast iron, basically. Essentially, like while I was doing the bedroom, my dad was just digging a giant hole <laughs> in my yard and he dug for an entire day straight. And like, that's a lot of digging and with a pickaxe and everything, like I, he was so sore afterwards. I don't know how he was able to have the energy to dig all day long, but I'm very thankful that he did. Um, so once he got everything dug up, we were able to see that there was actually some weird clean out installed right outside of my water heater cab cabinet outside. Um, and there is a clean out inside that cabinet. So it's kind of like, why is this here? First of all, second of all, it was totally buried. And third of all, it was a metal clean out with a plastic cap, which means that it was leaking because that's not correct. Um, so that was one place the roots were coming in um, and one place that was leaking and so the good thing was that that was obviously a fitting where we were able to just take apart the fitting instead of having to cut the pipe because the pipe going into the house, you know, we're right up to the house basically at that point. Uh, if we had any issues with the pipe, we'd be going under the house. And so it was a little bit of like high stakes, high tension, because like if that pipe broke or wasn't good, we would have a serious issue. Luckily, the pipe that was attached to that fitting seemed pretty decent. We just took the fitting off and then uh, put the new fitting on. So that was great. And then what he also dug up is that I do have a clean out at the end of my septic tank. That had gotten buried even though it's like a three foot tall pipe they had buried it. it was like eight inches below the ground so i uh have the pieces i haven't done the one chop that i need to do yet um to make it like flush with the ground but like basically i'm gonna extend it up so that it is accessible from the top of the ground so i don't have to dig it up again uh if i need to clean things out that was actually tied into something called Orangeburg, which is pretty common here in the desert, but my dad hadn't even heard of it before. Basically, Orangeburg is like a pipe that's made out of wood fibers and tar and some other stuff. So it's not the highest quality material in the world, um, but it's cheap and light, and so they used it for a little while before PVC was really a thing or ABS pipe was really a thing. And so um, the clean out went into Orangeburg pipe and it had a reducer cause that was four inch pipe and what's coming out of the house is three inch pipe. And the reducer you guys saw in the video was just leaking like crazy. It's a huge puddle of water underneath there. And that was also someplace roots were coming in. So there's like three distinctive places where the roots were coming in and the guy only called out one. And like I said, the, the pipe was cracked all along the top and the bottom and there were little roots coming in randomly anyways uh, throughout. So how he looked at that on the camera and just said, just cut out, cut out this section and you'll be fine is beyond me. Regardless, the Orangeburg pipe, um, they're pretty delicate, but it, like my dad was walking on it, didn't crack. Uh, the end of it had like a bump in it, like it, it was, not perfect and I'm gonna guess that's one of the places where stuff was hanging up because I had another clog when my dad and I got here. Um, it was clogged and things were backing up and it was a little bit difficult to have two people here using two people's worth of water and taking showers and everything. Uh, we had to be really conscious with the water. 
But otherwise, um, he was able to get the clog undone. Uh, Jerry rigged a little water gun out of some hose laying outside, like my dad's a total MacGyver, and um, got the clog fixed so that when we took the pipe out, there wasn't a bunch of crap, literally, in the pipe. Basically, long story short, is the Orangeburg pipe was in good shape. We chopped off the part of it that was broken, and I took a reducer boot, and we replaced all of the cast iron up to the house with ABS. So the only cast iron left in the whole system is underneath the house at this point, which I would love to replace and fix because I want to change the layout of the bathroom but right now I have so many other things that are higher priority that that is going to be like a project way down the line knock on wood if uh that repair that we did holds uh, we had to put a second boot clamp on the cast iron pipe but like now it's totally sealed not leaking at all so there shouldn't be an issue with roots but Something you could do to be extra cautious is to let everything dry out completely. So there is no water to encourage the roots to come back here. As opposed to filling all the wet dirt back into the hole and all the roots go, oh, there's water over there. Basically, this is going to stay open for a very long time because as you guys saw, it was snowing. Um, and it's just so cold that it's taking forever for things to dry out. So. That's where we're at, <laughs> uh, and that's kind of the whole story time. I am in the middle of cleaning everything up at the house and packing to be ready to go to my parents' house, um, but I won't have my computer with me at my parents' house, so this will be my last video of the year. Who knows how early in the year next year I will have a new video because I'm tired. I might be taking a little break from stuff, <laughs> <laughs> at least video worthy stuff and um, so it might be a long time in the new year before I have a new video out for you guys sorry about that if you look forward to my my videos yeah I'm gonna call that quits um, and maybe when the house is clean you'll get a clip here um, overlaid of, of the house looking clean and organized and everything but if not then um, you'll know that I didn't get around to cleaning and organizing the house in time <laughs> before I had to leave to go to my parents house so what is wrong with your sweater why are you wearing your sweater like a tube top are you silly that's not how you wear a sweater happy holidays and a happy new year and if you guys haven't already please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated whenever I post a video. I try to post videos like every other Sunday-ish, but it's pretty sporadic, so I'm sure you guys need the notifications from being sub subscribed and also, you know, that little notification bell uh, if you wanna. I mean, like and subscribe is pretty standard. You just belched in my face. <laughs> I am a smaller channel, so um, sharing this video with your friends, um, is really helpful as well. I'm on Instagram if you want to share it there, if that's the platform you're on more often. Um, otherwise, yeah, here on YouTube, check it out. Links to everything in the description. Say goodbye.